what's up guys your boy ed from lead tv you already know we got my boy grant on the back grant tell us what you did today bro uh i went eight one i finished second at the houston regionals oh my god what did you play my bro uh cyber cell glitch mm. uh tell me about your matches bro did you did you have uh fun today <laughs> Uh, yeah, it was a good tournament. Uh, I started 8 0 and then lost the last round to Hector. He went undefeated with Tri Brigade. Um, yeah, we can talk about that at the end. Awesome, cool. Well, let's go ahead and get into the deck profile. Before we continue with this video, make sure you guys check out my new sponsor. Dank Ritual Playmats. They have amazingly beautiful, high quality, two player cloth mats, which come in various colors. You guys can also get 10% off with coupon code CEVICH10. Make sure you guys check them out. Let's go. All right, so for the Cybers cards, three Cybers gadget. Uh, this is your best one. Just revives a monster from grave and doesn't really get hit by anything. Three Dotscaper. Uh, this is really good for playing into established boards. Uh, if it goes to grave, it gets banished, especially someone just self back. And then three of the Firewall Guardian. Uh, this is kind of the worst one. Uh, a really easy side out because it only triggers uh, when it goes to grave and it special summons itself back, so it can get hit by Bell. Uh, so that's nine of the Cybers cards. And then for the Elvish package, uh, just one Lord, three Eldland, two Elvixer, two Conk, and one Walkero. So this is a little bit different than most of the ratios. They're going to be playing like one or more of these and one more of these. Um, these cards are just terrible going second. Uh, they're only fodder for Magician Souls, and you really just need to resolve a pair of these one time to win. Uh, games really don't grind that much. Um, I, I did not miss a third one of these or uh, an additional one of these all day. Uh, and this one, obviously, just the best card. And this is essentially a break. These cards are super powerful. Uh, they just win a lot of games that you really shouldn't win. And then for the Magician Souls engine, going heavy here, because this is just your best extender. Uh, it, it funnels you cards. Uh, it, it makes sure that you have like the perfect ratio of these, um, so you're not ending on like two of the same name. And um, I mean, these are just crazy. This, this acting as a spell that this can pitch is is really big. So six of those. And then for the adventure part of the deck, uh, the three enchantress, the one foolish, the three right, and then the bricks essentially. Um, the Foolish is good because it can act to, to get you to your adventure engine, but it can also act to send Dotscaper and kind of start your Cybers cards as well. And uh, I mean, these are broken. There's no need to explain them. This is just one fateful because uh, games don't grind. You don't need a second one, and this kit isn't pranked. And then the DPE package and the best card in the deck, obviously. Uh, so in this and win the game. Uh, it's as simple as that, really. Just artifact scythe. And for the defensive cards, three Ash, three Bell, three Ogre, three Valor, three Imperm, one Lancia, and then like my little tech, three DD Crow, and two Cosmic. So this isn't like a hand trap, obviously, but it's still a defensive card. Uh, 19 of these means that you have like a little bit over a 50% chance to draw two going second, and really any combination of these two should make it to where your opponent can't really make their most capped board. And, that's when this deck thrives is when you just have like a few cards to play and all these just just stop it the, the dd crow is for despia i didn't play a single despia uh, so i kind of like over prepped for that otherwise these probably would have been maybe token collectors maybe nib I, I really don't think nib is that good right now um, but yeah th these are these are great obviously 19 hand traps uh you're gonna be drawing a lot and the two cyclone was actually pretty good this was kind of just two last spots in my deck that i really didn't know i did these are like the two eldish cards right so um, it, it's good for Spring Kid, it, it's good versus the Brave Engine, um, it, it has its moments. So. Extra bag, uh, E-Man, got the Dark, uh, Best Utility Monster, Link Spider, Link Garibo. These are like the Cyber Slinks, I suppose. Uh, this is like, you need all these for your combo, where you start with the one card, you make these, and you eventually go uh, Dagda, DP, Set Scythe. So these are all mandatory. Uh, two Verte, obviously. The card's insane right now. You always need to. Uh, and the Hockey Package, Hockey Selene Access Code. Uh, no reason not to play this. That's game. And then I, I chose to play these two uh, instead of the Lina. I, I really could not tell which one of these I wanted more. Uh, and it turns out this one 
kind of came up a little bit more than, than this one. I didn't make this once today, uh, but this is good because if you do your one card cybers combo, um, you can make this co-linked uh, to this. So you, you can pop a card and draw. So this is like a, it's a really nice utility card to make. But this is good in theory, but I, I, I did miss the Lina a lot, so I'd probably, I'd probably uh, put Lina back in. The Light Charmer. And then for the side deck, uh, the Gamma package, I mean, just the best hand trap going second right now. Uh, I would argue like somewhat mandatory. It's just a really good card. Three token collector, uh, but Sword Soul, Prank Kid, any of the base kind of variants. Um, I, I didn't see it today. I, I didn't really need to. And then uh, Lancia, this is just so, if you're playing like a deck that Scythe isn't really good against, notably it's like Eldritch, that's the only thing. You can still put in two Lancia and like, uh, stop some of the weird uh, things that they do that gain advantage and then obviously just to kill rogue three twin twister and the one harpies so in addition to like these this was like really clean having six solid outs i can count on for back row you're playing 60 cards so uh, you kind of want the ratios to be a little different and finally three sanctum blow out if you go second you just go second you, they hand trap you everything's a one card combo you just end up sending scythe or sending sanctum and then just summon scythe would you like to give us a short recap on the finals? Did you take a second? Yeah, so the final match was against Tri Brigade. Um, I th I'm pretty sure it was just pure Tri Brigade. He was playing like the new little Mercurial card. Um, he won the roll. Both times, uh, he made Appaloosa and set up Revolt. Game one, it was Appaloosa Revolt with the Twin Dragon, the Bounce. And I almost played through it. There was, a, there was It was argued that I had a line that played through it, but I didn't see it. Um, oh, it was because there was an interaction. I had Ogre in hand and I could have popped Appaloosa. I'm sorry, I forgot to do that. Uh, I won game two and then game three he set up uh, Appaloosa with Revolt again and had like Didi Crow and just kind of blew me out. You'll get him next time, Grant. Let's yeah, go. and one last shout out. Uh, yeah, David Flores. So yeah, thank you, thank you for walking up. We he theoried so much with me about this deck. I asked him a, a million questions uh, along all the ratios. He's actually the one that put me onto the small, the small uh, Elvish like combination of cards, and that was like really huge just to have more defensive cards. So shout out to him. And that's it. All right, congrats again. Appreciate it.